twice, thy step in resurrection. Come on, stand up with me and clap your hands for your Lord Children's Bible Study teacher. Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Sedalia. Thank you for joining our Rock Children's Bible Study. We have an awesome lesson planned for you. And in the next few weeks, you will be learning quite a bit about the Easter story, how Jesus arose from the dead. The first part of this message will be the Palm Sunday message. And the topic for tonight is triumphal entry. That is when Jesus Christ entered into the city of Jerusalem. Now, as you're watching the video, I want you to be thinking about three questions. And here's the first question. It says, Jesus sent two disciples on a mission to find what? What did the people place on the road? And the third one is, what was the reason for the triumphal entry to the city of Jerusalem? Take a look. The time of Passover was drawing near, and Jesus and his disciples traveled toward Jerusalem with a crowd of fascinated people in tow. The people following Jesus had heard of or seen the many wonderful works he had done, and they were eager to see what he would do once he arrived in the great city of Jerusalem. On their journey, they came across two small towns near the Mount of Olives. As they approached, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead on a special mission. Jesus told the two disciples, When you enter the next village, you will find a donkey's young colt there that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone stops you and asks what you are doing, tell them, It is needed for the Lord of all. The two disciples followed Jesus' instructions and made their way to the village. As the two men walked to the village, they discussed all that Jesus had told them and before long, they arrived at the village. Immediately after entering the village, they came across a donkey and her colt, just as Jesus said they would. Continuing to follow Jesus' instructions, they began to untie the colt so that they could bring it back to Jesus. As the disciples worked to untie the colt, the owners approached them and said, What are you doing? The disciples replied, We need this donkey for the Lord of all. The owners allowed the disciples to take the colt and they brought it back to Jesus. After returning, the disciples put their cloaks on the donkey's back and placed Jesus onto the animal. As Jesus rode the donkey, people ran out to meet him, placing palm leaves and spreading their cloaks out in front of him on the road. Jesus continued his journey, and as the road began to go down to the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began to praise God joyfully, in loud voices, for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the religious leaders had come out to watch the procession, and they grew angry over the outpouring of joy and praise at Jesus' arrival. They called out to Jesus, saying, Teacher, you must order your followers at once to stop saying these things. But Jesus responded, Listen to me. If my followers were silenced, the very stones would break out and praise me. As Jesus came near to Jerusalem, he saw the great city and began to weep. Jesus said to the inhabitants, If only you had known that today was the day your Messiah had come and that he came to bring peace. But you will not understand who I am and why I have come. Because of this, your enemies will overtake you and destroy this great city. The people of Jerusalem would only understand after his death 
that Jesus had come to save them from their sins. Welcome back. Wasn't that a great video? Did you learn a lot, boys and girls? Let's see if you were able to answer the three questions. Here's the first answer. Jesus sent two disciples on a mission to find a donkey's colt, or you may call it a baby donkey. Now, the donkey that Jesus rode into town on was a donkey that no one had ever been on, and so they saved it just for Jesus. The second question's answer is, people placed palm leaves and their cloaks on the road. They were so excited that Jesus was coming to town that they took off their coats and they placed it on the road and they were excited to have him ride through town. The third answer is, Jesus came as king to be the king of the world and he saved our sins. The sins are things that we do that don't please God. So when we do things that are bad, we're mean to each other, we call names, we may even sometimes hit our friends. When we do those things, boys and girls, those things don't please God. Those things are called sin. So don't forget that Jesus wants the best for you. Not only does he want the best for you, but he has a plan for our lives. Now, the next part is the memory verse. Every week, you're going to be learning a different memory verse, and we want you to share that memory verse with your friends. And the memory verse for today is Luke chapter 19, verse 38, and it says, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. So now I'm going to say it again, and I want you to repeat it after me. It's found in Luke chapter 19, verse 38. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. So now you have some homework. Your job is to learn that memory verse. And then once you've learned it, I want you to share it. Who can you share it with? You can share it with your family members. You can share it with your friends. And just share it with others that may not even know God. That will be a blessing to them. Now, I also want you to know that in knowing all of this about Jesus, the most important part is for you to understand what the plan is for your life. And Jesus has a plan for all of our lives. So let's take a look at the video to learn more about that plan. What's up, Bouncy? Hey, Dot. I see you're reading the Bible. The Bible? Yeah, you know, the big book that tells us about God, how he made everything, how much he loves us, how he wants us to live, and just how awesome he is. Well, I'm trying to read it, but there's some stuff in here that I just don't get. Like what? Well, this says that everyone sins, and I don't think that I've sinned. Do you know what sin means? You know, like being a robber or something. But I'm not a bad guy. Sin means disobeying God. Have you ever lied? Well, sometimes. What about sneaking around to get away with something your parents said not to do? Well, everyone does that. That's no big deal. That's sin. That's disobeying God. And yes, everyone has done it. But the Bible says that the punishment for sin is death. I thought God was a good guy. That doesn't seem too fair. God is the good guy. He's perfect and he's fair. So he has to punish sin. Well, can't I just be extra good for the rest of my life to make up for all the bad stuff I've done? Didn't you read the good news part of the Bible? No. What's the good news? Jesus. Jesus? God sent his son Jesus to earth to take your punishment for you. He is the only person who never sinned. Not even once? Nope. He was perfect, just like God. So when he died on the cross, he took the punishment for all the sin in the world. Jesus can erase your sin forever. Dying on a cross? 
Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, let me start over. God loves us. He wants to be our friend. But sin messes up our relationship with God. So God did something to get rid of sin. He let Jesus die in our place. The cross made a way for us to be friends with God. So what do you mean by cross? That's how Jesus died. People nailed his hands and feet to a big wooden cross and left him there until he died. A uh, dot, I'm just a kid. And that's gross and kind of scary, really. Well, that's how it happened. Because of the cross, we can be right with God. Whew, so I'm all good then? Well, you have to choose to live your life for Jesus now. A uh, dot. Yes, Bouncy. But I don't know how to do that. It's as easy as A, B, C. A, admit. Admit what you've done wrong and tell God you don't want to sin anymore. B, believe. Believe that God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven and that you are now right with God. C, confess. Confess to others that Jesus is your boss and your best friend. This will keep your friendship with God strong. You know what, Dot? I want to do that. I want to make Jesus the leader of my life. You do? Well, you can pray with me right now and talk to God about it. You want to? Yeah, but I don't know what to say. If you want to make Jesus your leader, repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. I know that I have disobeyed you. I know that I've disobeyed you. I don't want to sin anymore. I don't want to sin anymore. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. Thank you for making me your friend. Thank you for making me your friend. Help me to live for you now. Help me to live for you now. I can pray this because of Jesus. I can pray this because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wasn't that an amazing video? Now you know what the plan is that Jesus has for your life. Did anyone accept Jesus as their personal savior for the first time? If you did, I would like to share the sinner's prayer with you. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess that I am a sinner and I am asking for forgiveness. Forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross and were raised from the dead. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lead me and guide me, and I will tell others about you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now, boys and girls, when you accept Jesus as your Savior, you are saved. Nothing can take that away from you. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us tonight. I hope this lesson was a blessing to you, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget to bring your BFF, which is your Bible, your friends on Facebook or online, and your finances, which is your offering. Now we want to close with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son to pay the price for our sins. Thank you for loving us more than we will ever understand. Please help us to always recognize who Jesus is in our lives and remember the sacrifice he made for us. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto thee. Good night. See you later.